first one I want to share with you is a 2003 Mustang 3.8. <clears throat> we sold this car to the customer. He'd only had it for a few weeks, and he brought it back with a complaint that it was idling rough and stumbling, and the check engine light was on. And I pulled it in, found a 301 code stored and a 316 stored. So I know we're dealing with, obviously, a misfire. Now, I'm going to share something that's a personal pet peeve of mine. I don't know if it's the word misfire that throws techs in my area off, but I've seen way too many instances where the first response is, it needs plugs and wires. What I think happened on this car uh, is that somewhere in its past, it had a head, like, head leak and, and it hydrolocked. But it was really interesting because there was no noise, no indication of a bottom end problem from the way the car ran. It was bent, it was, I'm sorry? That's the amazing thing, there was no noise. It was bent so nicely that it was still tracking nice and true in the cylinder. The only difference was now it had a shorter stroke. Anybody do this? Ever measured the resistance of a spark plug? Now, I admit, I don't start getting into this one until I'm really starting to look for the cause of a drivability issue and all the other fundamental tests have not led me any closer to a, to a direction. But I have found problems resulting from this issue, and there's proof positive, because there's the bad one on the left measuring 14,500 ohms and a good one on the right measuring about 5,000. I've had plugs fresh out of the box be wrong, be damaged from the resistor internal to the plug. If I had extra resistance in the secondary, that's no different than having a bad spark plug wire and the same results. Again, it's just another bullet in the gun belt. A technique that seems to be gaining more and more favor with a lot of techs, it's in-cylinder pressure testing. Now this uses an actual sensor that is able to measure pressure. I use the Pico. And if you look real closely at the two, you'll find that when you draw a line through the center of that peak pattern, the good cylinder is fairly symmetrical, while the one on the right is not.